Alright guys, it's just another really quick video just to explain about positioning of speakers and subwoofers in a home audio environment, less a car audio environment because there's less space to put stuff, but in the house, this is my subwoofer setup. As you can see down there, big ass Pioneer 12 inch long excursion woofer, 600 watts RMS. Now this box I had round the other way before with the sub in the corner. Reason for that is, my understanding was, ah, corner, that also being a sloped roof is going to act a bit like a horn. So I'm going to basically maximise my bass output and hopefully get an even bass spread throughout my messy room. Um, and now at the listening position, which is where I watch my films from the sofa, which is this, as you can see, it's pretty much dead centre on with the room. Now, the, putting a subwoofer in the corner over there actually gives me a sweet spot of bass in that corner and in that corner. And actually, there's an antinode at the sofa, so I don't get much deep bass, 20 to 30 hertz, from the sofa. I, I only get it when I stand in the corners, and that's why you'll notice whenever I tend to sh shoot bass videos from my room, I'll always be standing in the corner like this because that's where it sounds bassiest. However, after flipping it round and putting the uh, subwoofer driver there rather than in the corner and the port exit there as well, the bass response is absolutely beautiful. It's smooth all across the room. You don't get any peaks anymore in general because rather than it being a very kind of maximized amplified bass from the corner that's then shoving the wave outwards and it's kind of creating peaks and nodes in the room, by having it there, it actually just basically starts there, wave goes, and then wave ends there. So it, the wave ends equally against the whole back wall of the room. Whereas in this instance, with it over in the corner, the wave was ending in that corner, causing reflection in that corner, uh, and giving me no bass at the listening position. So I'm just going to give you a demonstration of how nice and smooth and punchy this sounds. Um, I'm going to play it low volumes because it's quite late and there's people in the house. So I'm just going to hit this track and show you the kind of bass response I get all the way down to 20 hertz. Now this track, just before I play it, is called, let's get that so you can see it, uh, blub, blub, blub. Wacker Flocker, good old, and this is 20 hertz and up decaf. so this is a really nice deep low uh, mastered audio for subwoofer response. So let's hit play, see what happens. <laughs> That's very, very nice. Great response all the way from them higher frequencies, uh, right down to the bottom end there, 20 hertz. And on that 20 hertz note, trust me, you get some sort of, if you can hear some things shaking around, not too much of an issue, but it's quite funny to hear. So absolutely brilliant response, perfect and smooth, all the way down to 20 hertz and up to those higher frequencies from the sofa listening position. In the corners, it's relatively stable as well. It doesn't peak in the corners, it's just sort of flat wherever you're standing in the room, whereas before it was just peaky and different places in the room sounded better than others and it was a bit of a nightmare. Also, this means I can film the uh, with a excursion a little bit better for you guys, <laughs> so I might do a few more videos of that in the time to come. Uh, still need to cover these boxes in something, paint, fabric, I don't know, something like that, leather. Maybe this box is usually covered with the same material that a cushion is, but I thought I'd give it a wash because it's been there for a while. Uh, it doesn't get laid on, it's just covering the sub, but you know, keep things fresh. So yeah, stay tuned for some cool videos of my room base setup now that I've got my base sounding good and how I want it. Sunshine, oh man. 